Hey there, Santi here. Today we're going to be talking about Tana templates. If you are very invested in the Tana community, you'll see people all over Twitter, all over YouTube talking about this. And for good reason, I've been a bit busy just creating a bunch of templates for you. So I want to talk a little bit about why I believe this is such an important feature that is going to really benefit you as a Tana user. Also, a couple of considerations and mistakes that you might already make, not because of your fault, obviously, because you're perfect. Wow, that's a good message. But because the system is still not where it needs to be in order for you to have like the smoothest experience. Couple of things. First, if you've already been like trying to already use templates before this, some people do, some creators have released some versions of templates and they ask you to duplicate this node, then do this thing, then click in here, click in here, click in here, just spin around. <laughs> And then you manage to install the template, you'll know that previously the experience wasn't great. Now it is so much better. You can just very easily with the click of a button, just say, yes, install this template onto my workspace. Now with this, I want to give you a couple of considerations, right? Consideration number one is you as a user, whenever you find a template that you want to test, that you want to see if it's a good fit for what you need, install it on a separate workspace. So in Tana, you can have several workspaces per account, right? These usually are made for the purpose of collaborating with others. For this case, what we're going to be creating is a separate workspace and you can call this whatever you want you can call it something like template testing right put a nice photo in it and now when you go to install a template you can now choose that workspace as a place that you install it on so that you can easily test a template without cluttering your main workspace now this just sounds like a good idea right but the reason why we do this is because we really do not want to clutter our workspace with templates that we don't end up using and the reason for this is that some templates might not have an optimal structure, meaning that even if you think you deleted them from your main workspace, there might still be residues of like fields and super tags lying around your workspace. And then, you know, a couple of weeks later, you're like, I don't know where this is coming from. Like all these clutter fields, where are they coming from? They probably come from templates that you installed in your main workspace. And now they're just like, they're hanging around and you would have to spend more time deleting them. So that's why we definitely want to install templates first on a testing workspace so that later if we do like it we just install it again but this time on our main workspace now before you even move it to your main workspace you say okay i like this template there's still a couple of other things that i really want you to consider especially as the system is quite new one of the main things that i'm actually talking to the tana team i want to see how we can improve this as a community trying to make the system a bit better the problem right now is that whenever there is a version one of a template and you as the user say like yeah okay i like this template i'm gonna start using it and then that creator like myself, I release version two or an extended version of the template, then you'd be like, oh, cool. I want to transition to the new one. That transition is still not the smoothest. Now, for instance, in my case, I will provide instructions on how to do the transition. It's not impossible. I will design templates better in the future so that I know that that transition won't be a hassle for you. But right now, keep in mind that that transition to new versions of templates is a little bit tricky. Sometimes you will find templates that are the free version and the pro version of that same template, right? If you really like that template and you really want to use it, I would recommend, this is obviously up to you, but I would recommend you go for the pro version of the template instead of, you know, hanging around with the limitations of the free one, then wanting to move to the pro. Right now, the transition is not very smooth. So definitely try to use the template that you're going to settle for. And if the creator keeps updating it over time, then that creator should provide instructions on how to do that. So that's still one of the limitations. Just right now, I would recommend going for the latest and best version of that template so that you don't face these problems as much. Now, as an alternative, if you really want to use a template and you say, ah, yeah, it's kind of lacking a couple of features that I would really like, you have three options. Option number one is learn for yourself how you can expand this template into whatever use case that you need it for. For that, there's resources. Hopefully, if you like this channel, my Tana online course will help you there because I do try to explain it in very beginner friendly terms, how to actually use Tana so that you can expand templates and use them for your needs, you know, by knowing the core fundamentals of Tana so that you can really do this kind of stuff. So option number one is learning how to expand a template yourself so that it suits your needs perfectly. That's obviously going to be the ideal. Now, option number two is if you have a feature that's missing in the template, you can reach out to the template creator. Like for instance, myself, if you find some limitation in my template that you would like to see for your own use case, definitely reach out to me and be like, hey, could you add this feature? And most likely I will be able to achieve it, especially if it's something that I believe is a good idea for everyone. Do let me know and I will expand something like that. And now you can use the new latest version of that template so that later you don't have 
to worry too much about migrating from one template version to the next. Now option number three, let's say that there's a version of a template that you like at its current state with whichever limitations that you find. And then you hope that in the future, if the creator creates a better version, later you'll migrate to it. For instance, myself, templates in the future, I either upgrade them or improve them. I will provide instructions on how to transition everything to that one, right? So that is option number three. They're they're all okay. They all have its, its pros and cons. And I really hope the Tana system for templates improves over time so that it's easier for you. But right now, it's already ready. It's still a really good system. Just keep these things in mind. First, install them to a test workspace and then consider the three alternatives. Learn how to expand the template yourself. Request the template creator to expand it for you. Or three, just deal with a little bit of the hassle of transitioning from one version of a template to an upgraded version. Now, if you're excited to try this really cool new feature to install templates in your workspace, following the recommendations that I just gave you, check out my Tana template called the book library, where you can keep track of the books that you've read, the books that you want to read. You can rate them. You can organize them by who recommended each book. You can organize them by author and a bunch of other things. It's really cool. I really think you're going to enjoy it. I'll leave a link in the description for that one. So definitely check it out. And overall, I'm very excited to where this is going. Thanks to the Tana team. You guys are really amazing. So yeah. And before we say our goodbyes for this video, if you do have any requests for particular templates that you would like me to create, I'll leave a link in the description with a form where you can tell me your template ideas and I'm going to be working on those because I really want to give you the templates that you need. So that's going to be awesome. So definitely don't forget to do that. So with that said, I hope you have a great day. Yeah, go template. See ya. Bye. What are you still doing here? Go install my template. Just one click. Just click it like that. Bye. Took them out, so I'll leave this here.